fun stuff now. You ready to do some fun stuff? Now that we've covered the news. All right. Let's uh, let's go to this. So recently, um, every few years they do this study where they do um, who the best and worst president is. Right? And it's usually all these social science professors, academics, political science professors. Whatever. It's usually like 150, 200 of them. And they all do their own ranking. And then they sort of compile them and give you the thing, right? So sometimes some guys are higher than others on some lists and lower than others on others. But there was one person that got pretty much unanimous score, and that was Donald Trump. And Fox News was not happy about the result. So we're going to jump right in. Oh, gosh. You know what? This is my reward for all of that really aggravating news. Yeah, here we go. A new, a new ranking, ranking and, I'm and I'm going to add, in my view, a highly questionable ranking of presidents is turning heads after Biden came in higher than both Donald Trump and Ronald Reagan in his wildest dreams. The survey was done by the Presidential Greatness Project, who claimed to be the foremost organization of social science experts in presidential politics. They may be the foremost example of the disconnect between ivory tower academia and real people, that aside, Abe Lincoln, Lincoln ranked, ranked first. first. Okay, okay, fair. Then comes Obama, Obama at seventh, and Biden came in 14th, actually beating Ronald Reagan, who came in 16th, and Trump dead last. <laughs> Look at Shut up. Oh, I felt my scroogey little heart just grow three sizes in that moment. See, you eat your Brussels sprouts, you get dessert. <laughs> and I got to tell you. So here's what's so funny about this too is um, she's the ivory tower academics, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Everybody's sitting there on that panel's making millions a year. Your average professor's making what? 60,000? Academics, ivory tower, my ass. I mean, they're, they're working stiffs. I mean, they work. But this is not the organization that put it together. It wasn't the organization that, that, that did the ratings. This was done by independent people. So, the, so there wouldn't be a bias. And then they just compiled them. So the thing about it is, yeah, some guys had Obama like two or three, some of them had him like, like 20, right? Some had Biden like, you know, eight or nine, some had him like 25 or 30, right? It depends, right? There's some variance between these. The one thing that was consistent on all of them, it was like over, it was like 150 plus of these nobody rated trump higher than 44th out of 47. <laughs> so the best ranking out of 47 he got was 44. the best ranking right which means he even got beat by zachary taylor who died in office after a few months from a stomach infection <laughs> um and nixon and nixon Got rated higher. Andrew Jackson got rated higher. Andrew Jackson <laughs> got rated higher. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. All right. Oh my <laughs> gosh. The, the Indian genocide. Trump is worse. <laughs> when, when you, you get, get ranked, ranked worse than Andrew Jackson, Jackson than Nixon, Nixon than, than, oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Well, when you leave less off, when you leave office with less jobs than when you started, the economy's in the tank. You fucked up a pandemic, and when they, by the time he left, five hundred Amer five hundred thousand Americans had died. That's more than we lost in the Civil War. And I know some people out there. Well, we lost more than that in the Civil War. I'm like, I don't count the Confederates. They were not Americans. They seceded from the United States. They don't count. They're not our guys. <laughs> so, oh, Jesus wow. Christ. But yep, yep Fox is, <laughs> they were really upset about this. We, <laughs> we can watch another minute of it, but it just <laughs> cracks me up. They are really trying to cope with this. Lisa, where, where to begin? begin? This is infuriating <laughs> in so many ways. 154 respondents, they are the ivory tower elites who in no way represent the view of the American people. Before we let Lisa speak, let's just cover what we have so far heard. It's Fox News on President's Day, learning. 
<laughs> we'll cut that out. But it's like, Jesus. Yep. So that's Ben Glebe from uh, the Young Turks, Turks, and he's covering this. But it's like, it's just ridiculous. Of course he's the worst. I mean, everything was worse. I mean, the, the economy tanked. They didn't. What legislation did they pass other than a tax cut for the rich? They didn't really pass anything. You know, if you think about it, Fox News really has to throw a hissy fit here because they're positioned um, to have to sing his praises basically all year. Right. So they can go in and treat this study like it's reputable or it's got any, you know, teeth to it at all and then turn around and spend the entire year singing his praises in hopes that people will vote for him, you know? No, it's just, it's all fucking stupid. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they, like you said, they, I just like the ivory tower thing. It's like, you guys went to college, you know, professors, their offices are usually like a shoebox. They're like the size of a closet, usually. I mean, you're not talking yeah, about. Yeah, and they use the closets, closets because, because they, they like, like frequently, frequently like don't even have a window, window. you know? Yeah, like, like, right. They make most of their money doing shit like this getting grants or doing these other side projects they don't make a whole ton of money teaching so i don't know what this whole like the ivory tower academic thing comes from it's not like these people are like fucking ultra wealthy you know you know who makes the most money at any any major college the fucking football coach makes millions well your average faculty member who has a phd is making 60 70 thousand I mean, it's fucked up. So I don't know what she's talking about, especially from a millionaire like her. But um, yeah, I was I was looking at, at positions at colleges and universities and whatnot, being like, oh, maybe I would like to teach there. And then I was like, oh no, no, I don't. I really don't. I make more teaching in a high school. Well, yeah. No, I like I teach, but I teach for fun because the money sucks. <laughs> Right. I teach just because I can put it on my resume. It looks good. But yeah. Yeah, no, the money sucks for professors, especially if you're an adjunct. <laughs>